Hey there everyone, so this is the last Edpuzzle tutorial. This tutorial is supposed to show you how to use the student view, how to view the progress of your class and students, how to grade the open-ended questions, and how to export the results to an Excel document. So this is really going to look like probably what you submit, so this should give you an idea of what your screencast should look like when you're going to submit your project to us. So the first thing we're going to do is the student view. If you click right here, there's this little I button that says view as student. If you click right there, it'll take you to the student view of what they're going to see for your video. And this will let us see what you have ready for your students and if you've done everything that's on the rubric. So right now I've got it muted, but you can see I'm, I'm just going to play it. I don't have them speaking so that it doesn't overlay. Um, one of the things you should show us is that if you click right here like you're trying to skip, you should have the, the prevent skipping blocking you from doing that. And the other things, you should just let us see the whole video and let us see your questions and hear your audio comments, etc. Um, so that we know that you did everything on your rubric. So I'm not going to watch this full thing on mine. I'm going to show you the rest of, of the tutorial. So once you've taken it, you can go here to your progress because it will give you, you know, your teacher sample. So I've taken this one and right here it will tell me um, what students have taken it, what their grade is so far, what percentage they watched. And so the this is how you view the progress. If you click on them specifically, you can look at what the student watched specifically, how many times they watched it over and over again, what they answered, what they didn't answer, how they answered. So then for you to grade questions, you'll see right here, so you're still on the, the progress for your full class. Right here there's a grade button and there's a two next to it saying that you have two questions that you need to grade. So if you come here, you can see what question it was and what the student, here it's me, the teacher, answered. So why did Al-Qaeda in Saudi Arabia withdraw support from ISIS? And the student answered because they were mean. Me thinking as a teacher, well, there's a lot more information in the video than that. I'm not going to give them points. So right here I can make a comment. I can say it's correct or I can say it's incorrect. So I just marked it incorrect. So then here, what might be done to stop ISIS? And I feel like this is a good answer, so I mark that correct. And then I can go back. So now this student got a 50%. They answered two questions right, and they got one, two questions wrong. So now I can, I'm going to show you how to export to an Excel document. This makes it really easy to put things into a grade book so you're not typing every single student. You know, you've got 200-something students. take forever to input these grades. So once everybody's done, uh, turned in their assignment, and it's maybe past the due point. Right here is the export button. Click right on that and you can see that right there it downloaded a new Excel document. I'm gonna click on that. Uh, obviously there's no information right here because I don't actually have any students and we don't need to see that you know that you have fake students. We just want to make sure that you know how to export and see that you can get to it just like this. It would have the information in it. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. So that's it for this tutorial. This is pretty much what you, it should look like when you turn in your project. Remember to do the full student view so that we can see that you did everything on the rubric. Show that you can prevent or that you can view the progress of the class, that you can grade their questions and export. So that's it. Thanks guys.